I'll be showing you step by step how to add a pre-order button to your Shopify store. Next, it's going to ask us to enable the app embed on our store. And so this is going to redirect us to the Shopify theme editor. So I'll hit activate now. It should open up a new tab. It should show the currently installed theme you're using. I'm currently using Conversion King, which is my very own Shopify theme that's designed with 20 plus built in conversion tools, saving you up to $1,546 per year. There's a link in the description below, so make sure you check that out. But let's move on here. We can see it's been automatically toggled under App Embeds. And to save this, I'll hit Save in the top right here. I'll head back to the previous tab, and I'll click I've already activated it. First up, I'll pin this to the navigation. Let's head to products so we can start adding these pre-orders in. So I'm gonna click add product and you can select any product you're looking for here. Just select this 3PL fulfilled snowboard and I'll click add. And so when we set this up, we get several options. First up, we can say always pre-order it, pre-order when sold out or pre-order if I have inventory. I'm gonna set this to always pre-order here. So it's gonna show up and we could do this for any amount of products we wanna do so. In the top right, we just have to click on add products and we can select new products or even specific specific variants we want to set up this pre-order for. There's an option here to view how it looks. This is going to open up the product in a new tab. We can see the add to cart has been replaced by pre-order here, notifying the customer that it is a pre-order. And if we click on the cart page as well, we can see it has also been listed as a pre-order. This way the customer is aware that they're not going to get the product right away. There's also an option here if we go back to the app to set up the pre-order delay notify. We can see currently there are no unfulfilled pre-orders containing this product. So right now there's no need to notify anyone of the shipping delay, but once you get some pre-orders for this product, you'll be able to send shipping delay emails to customers waiting for this product in case there is any delay. Additionally, we always get some customization in terms of how the button looks. So if we click on settings on the left-hand side, we can set the button text. Currently, it's just set up to pre-order and it's gonna replace the add to cart button with the pre-order button. So we can change this to whatever you want here. There's also delivery info and this is going to be text shown on the pre-ordered product. Additionally, we can also set a default setting on when to show the pre-order. If you've made any sales on Shopify, you know how hard it is to keep track of how much profit your store has actually made. And that's where our sponsor Profit Calc comes in the one-click profit calculator available for your Shopify store. Once set up, all you have to do is select the date range you're looking for to get real-time calculations, along with tons of other details, metrics, and analytics, so you can make smarter business decisions. It's gonna sync seamlessly with all your different ad accounts, and many cost of goods sold options like AliExpress, CJ Dropshipping, and Ship Hero. It also comes with a free 15 day trial so you can test drive everything for yourself. You can find it in the Shopify App Store by searching for Profit Calc. You can see it right here by its logo. I'll also leave a link for the app listing in the description below. Again, there's a 15 day free trial, so make sure you check it out. So, just like that, we've set up pre orders for any number of products we want to on our Shopify store. Now, we have to use an external app for this to get the functionality in, but thankfully it's a completely free app. If this video helped at all, I would love it so much if you smash that like and subscribe button below. If you have any questions, leave a comment, but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.